Now, key number one, fill your life with the word and you must give up, give up everything that means nothing. You cannot feed upon this if you have 20 things at the same time that's touching your life. No, you have to forsake everything. You have to forsake all other books, movies, whatever. Put them aside. Have no interest in anything to do with this world. You must pay that price. Do you know why God uses me? I have no interest in anything else. I have news for you. I know, not, I know nothing about football, baseball, any ball. I know nothing. <laughs> nothing. Now, I honor, I honor those who are athletes and wonderful people and on and on. And, but that's their calling, okay? That's what God called them to do. Let them do it. I have no interest. My little boy Joshua said to me, Daddy, take me to a, a basketball game. I sat there so bored. I thought to myself, what are these people screaming about? I was bored, 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 bored. Everybody is cheering and I'm like, I couldn't figure out what it was that they were enjoying. But God had done that in me. Now, maybe that's not what you want. Maybe that's not what you want. But I like that. Or about, you know, movies and movie stars. I don't care who they are. I don't know who they are. I have no clue what their names are. And frankly, I don't care to know who they are. Now, I am not saying... I am not saying that's the way you should live, but that's the way I live. Look, hear this. To whom much is given, much is required. You have to give up a lot, you have to give up a lot to receive a lot from God. So, how many of you, how many of you are serious? Now this is no joke and no game. How many are truly serious? You are willing to give your life for his service. Okay. Are you willing? Now wait. Are you willing to give up everything you love? Now, now think. You, you, wait, you, you, you've got to think about this. Because the Holy Spirit will demand that of you. He will demand it. Look, before I was married, I liked a girl named Michelle Flock. I was in love with a girl named Michelle. That's way before I met my wife, all right? I was a young kid with long hair and enjoyed life and all the rest of it. I was going to school, high school, and Michelle was Michelle. She was the best thing in the world. I go to Catherine's meeting, God touches my life. I'm sitting in the back of a car, an old broken down Chevy, and the Holy Ghost says, will you give this up? Yes, give this up, yeah, and I'm crying. Will you give this up? Yes, give, yes, yes. He comes to Michelle, no. <laughs> I would not let go. And the Lord dealt with me and dealt with me and dealt with me and dealt with me. He dealt with me so much, I began to sweat. Finally, I said, you can have her too. And when I did, when I did, he gave me something better called the anointing. So God, God anointed my life because I give up 
not only Michelle, but a whole lot of stuff. And he said, you got to let go. This, this, this. And they were things I enjoyed. I loved doing some of that stuff back then, as a, just as a young kid like you. I enjoyed certain music, and I enjoyed things that I would go out with young people like you to this and this and that. And God said, no, I want you to isolate yourself. I had to lock myself in a room for three years. I didn't know how long I'd been there. I, I didn't know how long God would demand of me to give up all this. But I said, Lord, I want you. I don't want all this stuff. I just want you. He said, all right, if you want me, here's what I want. And he laid down the law. Now, there is a price, a heavy price. Are you willing to pay it? 